What's up out there? Welcome back to more Melver Idol. And as you can see, I have just defeated the game or just defeated the Throne of the Herald expansion on my standard account. I am one step away from having full completion again. I got the pet unlocked. Everything's good to go. I think we're good. Uh, one, yep, 100% 100 completion, blah, blah, blah. So the time is wrong because I've been playing this account since it came out on Steam and like two years ago. Maybe three. It's been a while. So I've been playing this. Let's see. You have completed. Okay, cool. So we have. I can run out of here. Um, basically, the game is done. I can go into superior skill capes and go buy this, but I don't have two billion gold. Um, I've unlocked this awesome pet. I people see keep saying how good this pet is, and. It's just got a ton of stuff, accuracy and mastery, 50% mastery pull. Oh, the cap. Okay. Yeah, so that's a great pet. So now I need to get some money up. I need to get like uh, 10 billion up. So we'll have to make some money. But I have a metric ton of money. I have 18 billion in gold in the bank. So I just sell stuff and I'm there. So how do we get to this point? Well, the expansion hit, I think, on Oct in October, late October. I think it was the date. I want to say October 20th because I looked it up the other day. So it is now February 4th when I'm defeating this. So the expansion really didn't last that long. And the worst grinds that I had, the most unfun stuff, was fire making and crafting. Everything else went by fairly easily and it wasn't too bad. Fire making is just a straight grind and all the mastery and everything to it was just horrible to get through. Um, crafting, what I did with crafting is I equipped leather or I, I bought a bunch of leather and then just crafted up leather gloves. So if you know how the mastery pool stuff works, this goes to your mastery pool. It doesn't matter what you click on. If it's full mastery, you're going to get the full points. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether you're running an urn or a ring, whatever. The mastery pool is going to get 616 points at full value. Now, that gets a little bit better if I go over here and equip a few things, get the mastery pool built up a little bit further. Uh, the mastery ring, let's see if we throw that on here, that brings it up a little more. So there's ways of building it up a little bit more. You can throw on the, the monkey and owl thing to get an extra little bonus on there. So there's ways of raising it up a little bit, but for the most part to get crafting done, what I did is I just went over here to leather gloves. These are the easiest, cheapest, most replaceable thing you can buy and went to town because once you start getting into like the meteorite marksman, I don't really have that many of these Zephites and all that. And the, the, um, yeah, these are all Zephites. I, I just didn't have enough stuff there. The cerulean stuff I ran out of, um, agility, as far as agility goes, you need car. Well, I have cargo net and monkey bars. Those don't matter, but uh, this is to beat the to the final boss. You need to have obstacle three at pipe climb, four at cold stones, five at cliff balance, six at lake swim, seven at boulder trap, eight at spike jump, nine at water jump, ten at ocean rafting, eleven is pipe maze, twelve is boulder balance, thirteen is rope trap, and fourteen is freezing climb, and then fifteen is waterfall crossing. Uh, then you also need the pillar of combat and the elite pillar of conflict. The gear that I used is equipped here. Um, basically, this one swapped out for this thing here. The plate. So, when you go through the first phase of the boss, they want you to go through. You can actually follow the combat triangle on this fight. And what they recommend is this setup here with the Palladium Runestone Ring. 4% uh, damage reduction when fighting a melee enemy, which gives you a little extra buff if you equip it in the passive slot. And then all the Vorloran gear. I had the Cape of Completion, so I was able to put that on and use that. Fear of the Elemental Zodiacs, uh, Leviathan Shield, Slicing Maelstrom Wand, and then the Occultist and Spectre uh, Synergy so that you get this enemy lo loses evasion equal to half of their damage reduction. And then the Wasteful Rank. This is for Phase 1. For Prayers, they recommended to go with Battleborn and Divination. Um, the final phase uses Holy Aegis. That's why I'm on that. So 
that's basically the first round of it. And the first, and then they also recommend these, these sharks, whatever these things are, um, uh, whatever these are, the large sharks, um, do, do, do it's the mystic, the mystic sharks. And of course I have, uh, my cooking set all the way over. So I get the extra 10% bonus in healing there. So there's a lot of good bonuses here. The first phase of the fight, you can just let it idle through pretty much. I, I watched it and I wasn't really ever in any danger or anything. And the fight ended and that was that he goes through a bunch of phases, parts where he's immune, but it, um, I forgot about this part too. You have to run slicing maelstrom magic. And then you want to run this despair curse. That despair curse cuts through whatever his immunity is. So you want to run that and then surge two to make things go faster. So that's phase one. Um, if you go out to the wiki page, they've got an entire guide and I just followed the guide. That's all I did. Phase two is this setup here for melee and you want to run the voodoo trinket with the uh, despair curse so that it cuts through that immunity stuff. And then this gear setup here. The only difference is the Leviathan shield you'd want to run. I just took it off because I'm running it on my uh, uh, magical side. But they say Ward of Flame. The I don't know why the Ward of Flame instead of the, the Vorlorn Protectors. But um, that's what they recommended. So that's what I ran. And then Ring of Power. Same synergy down here. And then I ran the uh, Whetstones for Accuracy. Now. This one is another one you can just idle through. Of course, I'm running Cape of Completion. They recommend Infernal Cape for all of these instead, but I have Cape of Completion, so it's a little bit extra damage reduction. Actually, I think they recommended uh, the Rune the rune Cape up here, but I ran this. It's a little bit better uh, magic attack, but yeah, whatever it got through. So for phase three, the final phase, the first two you can idle, the third phase, and I did not record this specifically because I just didn't feel like messing with it. Um, I wasn't sure how long it would take, and I, I figured you can actually go to the wiki page and just get the information to do this. It's not that difficult, so I'd rather than throw the fight in here, but I did try this fight twice. The first time I got through the first two phases, no problem. The third phase I tried with ranged, which would follow the combat triangle, the problem I ran into there is that it, and it, this is the gear they recommended, but I think Ring of Power and uh, Leviathan Shield, uh, I just wasn't getting it done. Um, the stack, there's no stacks on the third phase, but if your health drops below 90%, you die. There's a, a one attack that that thing does. And if you read the wiki page, it recommends that if you go against the combat triangle and use magic on magic, uh, which is this setup, but with... Um, oh, what did it have me running in here? The shield of magic power. Uh, this had to go into the passive and then I had to run the blood ring over here. So basically the same setup that you went on phase one, except swap out the passive in the ring and then change over to the Holy Aegis if you want a little extra protection and then manually eat the whole time. Uh, they said this la allows you to manually eat pretty much the whole time without stopping the attack. And I think that's because of some of the stuff that stacks up on here. Whereas with ranged, it doesn't. I kept getting stunned on ranged and I'd have to wait for the stun to clear. And it just never did. With the magic side of it, I could hold down on heal and the stun really didn't stick that long. So this was a much better route to go for the third phase is the gear that I have set up here. Of course, swap out the completion cape for uh, the infernal cape or whatever unless you have the completion cape uh but anyway this is done i'm i'm over with this whole fight uh i just need to save up some money and buy the last few items i have 100 completion the only items that i don't have uh undiscovered oh it doesn't show anything undiscovered so the only item that i don't own in the game right now is the superior cape of completion i need to buy this so i need to sell off some stuff or whatever and then get this thing and 10 percent damage reduction that's sweet so pretty much at this point there's nothing left for me to do in the standard mode aside from save up some money which i may go into thieving or something i'm not sure uh, i can also retool town township um this is basically where i left it at 120 mode and i've got 14,000 ticks so uh i have plenty that i could retool this and just make a ton of money and go buy that so as far as the expansion goes, when they they told us that the expansion was just about the same size or slightly smaller than the original 
base game. And it is. There is a lot of content here. There's a lot of things to do. To be fair, to be completely fair about this, I did start all at 120. I did not restart at 99s. So I had fully 120 to everything aside from like one or two skills. Like I think it was rune crafting was the only one I didn't have at 120. So I pretty much just slid right into the expansion, full leveled, ready to go. And I've been working on completion. I specifically did not want to beat the game with this pet. I did not want to beat the game and have this pet. I wanted to see how long things took um, without this pet. Because this gives you a ton of bonuses and stuff. And I just didn't feel like messing with the bonuses. Um, I wanted to see how things were with just the plain base game. No, no superior max skill cape and all that. Just to see how everything went. And I, I've enjoyed the expansion. Overall, I think it, I don't want to say it could have been longer. Um, I don't know what to look forward to now. Like we knew when we got done with the original game that once you'd got the masteries and everything done, that you'd go to level 120 and then the expansion came out and all that kind of came together right about the same time. Now I really don't have anything else to go forward with, with this account. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I don't know if I'm going to uh, I may save up the money. I'm, I'm definitely going to get the money up and get those capes. Uh, but I'm not real clear on what I want to do with the account at this point. Like, do I sit in combat and raise levels? I thought I saw a rumor that 120 is going to be the max skill that we're going to get. And they may expand horizontally with content. I'm not sure. Uh, there's not really anything for me to do with this account if that's the case. So I don't need to go to 130 or anything. And I'm already over 120 with pretty much everything. Prayer's well up there. Farming, of course, is well up there. Like, there's, I'm pretty close to 130 with almost everything. In, well, with a lot of skills. So there's not really much point in continuing forward if that's going to be the case. So I, I'm not sure what I want to do with this one. Um, as far as the expansion goes itself, I thought this was a really solid expansion. I've enjoyed every minute of it. Um, my hardcore character is going strong and my um, adventure character is going along fairly well. So I'm, I'm really digging it and I'm looking forward to how the adventure account dips into the expansion stuff. And Because you can now have access to some of the expansion. You get to some of the level 120 stuff. Like you can get level 120 attack, strength, defense, things like that. You can get into the 120 or agility and uh, summoning stuff, astrology. You know what I mean? Like you can push into that and get some of that content unlocked, um, even though you can't equip like the gear and, you know, equip up. So into the mist and um, uh, it, it, impending darkness, those should be a little easier this time around. I'm kind of curious to see how that goes. And it's a fresh start account. Um, I don't know. I, I've enjoyed this. I feel like it's gone a little quick though because I'm done and over with and that's it. But this does give me the opportunity to maybe shelf this account for a while and maybe not or this character. I don't have to play on this character for a while. Uh, maybe I'll just stop playing this character. Uh, I have almost every item in the game. Like I have just about everything in here. I was going through this for a video the other day and I, there's a few things that I don't have but I've got basically all the items in the game just sitting here in my bank account. Or the ability to add enough room in the account to buy it. So there's not much left to do in here aside from maybe some different joke ideas. I thought about stripping all the gear off and trying to see how far I could get with just 120 skills on everything. But, you know, how many how many different combat areas can I fight before 120 runs out? How many of the Slayer things can I kill? You know, how long can I go before I die? So I may do some stuff like that. I'm not sure. But anyway, um, I like the expansion overall. And I've, I've really enjoyed my time with this. Uh, I I don't know. I, I'm curious as to when the next expansion is going to get here because I feel like this has gone quickly. And it's not that my interest is going away by any stretch of the imagination, but I just have nothing to do with this uh, character. So I don't know what to do now. And aside from clean up a few things, maybe use it for videos because I've got some video ideas that having all of the equipment will be good for. So anyway, I've enjoyed this. I am now done with the expansion as far as my standard character goes. So that will do it for this one. We will catch you on the next one. Take care.